Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmad again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to talk about the first beta for Android 11. The first beta for Android 11 was originally scheduled in May, however Google decided to delay the update till the 3rd of June and even after reaching the 3rd of June we didn't get the update because of another delay but this time Google pushed the update to some Pixel 4 users by mistake and I managed to get my hands on some screen recordings from a friend of mine who got the update on his Pixel 4 XL and I'm going to share all the screen recordings I got to show you what's new with the first beta for Android 11 until we get it officially from Google. So let's check what's new with the first beta for Android 11 but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. So here is the first screen recording and in this one I'm going to show you the new icon shapes under the styles and wallpapers app. So when you go to the application you still have the same old design for the wallpaper tab in Android 10 and also the same clock tab that we previously saw in, uh, in previous builds. Nothing different here and when you go to the, the style tab here you're going to get the same fonts, the same icons and the same colors as well but what's new here uh, the addition of three icon shapes so let me pause the video here and as you see those are the new three icon shapes that you can choose from the second screen recording will show you a new feature called suggestions on home screen and what it does it simply fills any gap you have in your hot seat with an application that you are frequently using which is similar to the suggested apps you have in the app drawer but this time Google is extending the feature to the home screen as well so let me show you how it looks in Android 11 so here you go to your home settings and then you go to suggestions and here you have the option which is called suggestions on home screen and when you turn that on the phone will automatically suggest an app and then give you the ability to uh, pin it if you want to keep it for future by tapping and hold and then tap the pin icon so it will stick here and also you get another option called the blocked apps and when you tap on it it will show you all the apps you have installed on your device so you can exclude any of them from being suggested in on your home screen so that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, home suggestions but let me also show you the screen you get for the first time when you update your phone it will give you uh, some tips and hints about this feature and how to use it and how it works uh, that disappears after that you also get this kind of notification uh, to explain to you how the feature works so you can tap on it to learn more next I'm going to show you some changes in the quick settings of Android 11 first beta and the first change here is related to the Wi-Fi menu when you tap and hold from your quick settings on the Wi-Fi icon, now you get this card, which is similar to the uh, card we get for the volume controls. This one, it's similar to this one. When you tap and hold on the Wi-Fi, on Android 10, you go to settings, but in Android 11, when you tap and hold, you get this card at the bottom, so you can choose your network quickly without jumping to another app. The next change in quick settings is the ability to have your media controls in the quick settings area instead of having a separate notification like in Android 10 and let me show you an example here in this screenshot as you see the media controls are here after the first swipe uh, from your notification shade so you can quickly change the media controls and also to activate this feature you need to have access to the developer options and scroll down to something called media resumption here you go here is a new option called the media resumption. When you turn that on, you will start getting your media controls uh, in the quick settings area. And also, when you expand your quick settings, that's how it looks in Android 11 first beta. And I do like this, uh, this feature because, as you see here, the media controls in Android 10 takes too much space from the same place where you get your messages and emails, so which is not really... Uh, a good approach and I do like the new approach by having your media controls in the quick settings more. Next I'm going to show you the new power menu in Android 11 first beta. Now when you press and hold on your power button you get this uh, power menu which includes your 
uh, normal power off and restart options in addition to your cards and passes and your smart home controls if you are using any smart bulbs or things like that it should appear here but unfortunately my friend doesn't have access to, to those two options so that's why it looks like this it's completely black screen but let me show you how it looks under settings to access this new power menu you go to your settings and then jump to system and from system you go to gestures and then scroll all the way down until you see power menu and previously in in the developer preview 4 that option was called only cards and passes and you only you only had the option to turn on the cards and passes uh, but now you have a new menu called the power menu that includes more than one option here you have cards and passes as before in addition to device controls and when you go to cards and passes that's how it looks in the tutorial let me show you this again that's how your cards and passes should appear in the power menu and when you go to device controls if you have any smart lighting or anything like that you can turn it on and off from your power button and there is also a third option here called sensitive content which means show cards and controls when locked if you want to do that you can turn this option on so you don't even need to unlock your phone you can quickly change your uh, device controls and also make payments while your phone is locked now i'm going to show you the new changes under the apps and notifications settings and i have here my pixel 3 xl on developer preview 4 and i'm going to play the screen recording on my pixel 4 xl so let's see the differences sorry and then notifications and you will start to notice some differences here the first change here is in the placement of the recently sent and the options in developer preview 4 you have the recently sent section first and then the other options but here you have the options first and then the recently sent section the second change is related to the notification history option here in developer preview 4 when you go to advanced you have here a switch called notification history but here you have it as a menu notification history and when you go inside this menu you will get your notifications history in addition to the switch to turn it on and off here you only have a switch and to access this screen in developer preview 4 you have to expand your notification shade and then tap on history and you will get the same screen and the third change here now you have a new option called bubbles uh, and you don't have this option here under developer preview 4 it only appears under your developer settings so even if you go to advanced you will see nothing about bubbles here but in android 11 beta 1 you have the option called bubbles and when you go inside bubbles that's what you will see allow apps to show bubbles and it's going to give you this a quick animation to explain how it works next the screenshots and as you see here in the first beta of android 11 google is planning to include the extended screenshots option and that's why you see this button here but unfortunately it doesn't work at the moment and it's expected to be released in the second beta and if you're going to compare this with the developer preview for you only get two buttons which are share and edit but you don't get the extend button and i'm really waiting for this feature because it's really helpful so that's pretty much it for today those are all the changes i managed to get my hands on in android 11 beta 1 and i will definitely wait for the official release on my device and do extensive testing and comparisons to see what's in you and i will create a follow-up video in case if i found anything worth mentioning so thank you so much for watching i hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching.